Galina was born in Ukraine. She speaks Ukrainian. Her husband is serving in the Ukrainian army. And she lives in a village south of the central Ukrainian city of Venetia. But Galina is legally Russian. As a child, she moved there, where she then became a citizen. It means she, like thousands of other Russians in Ukraine, is now in a legal limbo. When you show your documents, people think you're something strange, she tells me in her kitchen, where she spends her time stitching t-shirts for wounded Ukrainian soldiers. Ukraine State Migration Service insists that all foreigners in Ukraine have equal rights as each other and no one nationality is discriminated against. But some allege this isn't the case. Lawyers working with Russians in Ukraine, for instance, told the BBC their clients face having their accounts frozen. After Russia launched its full-scale invasion, Ukraine's national bank restricted financial services for all Russian and Belarusian citizens, although it says those with a residence permit are not affected. Galina disagrees. She says that because of her passport, she can't get a job and fears her bank account could be blocked. She is seven months pregnant but, because she's not legally Ukrainian, she can't access free state health services. Galina also worries she won't be able to register her child's birth. After she married her Ukrainian husband Maxim in a church, she says that officials refused to recognize the union because of her unsettled status. They said, come back when you have a passport, explains Galina. They can't understand who I am. Under Ukrainian law it's banned to have joint citizenship, although some do. She started applying to become a Ukrainian citizen but was unable to complete the process because of Russia's full-scale invasion. Now, Galina's temporary Ukrainian passport has expired. She says she feels like a hostage of Russia. Changing passports was difficult even before the war now it's impossible, she says. On Povetrovlotsky Avenue in central KYIB sits a three-story white building with an overgrown garden. It's surrounded by a tall, barbed wire fence, and the shutters are firmly down. They have been since 23 February, last year when staff at the Russian embassy evacuated for safety reasons. A day later Moscow launched its full-scale invasion, and what was left of the diplomatic relations between KYB and Moscow disintegrated. It means thousands of people in Ukraine, like Galina, are living in uncertainty. Currently there are more than 150,000 Russians with permanent residency permits in Ukraine. Around 17,000 have temporary ones. For them to successfully apply for a Ukrainian passport or citizenship, they first need to physically give up their Russian citizenship. Moscow made that process complicated. To do so, they'd have to surrender their papers in either a Russian consulate abroad or Russia itself. There are no guarantees Galina wouldn't be arrested in the process or end up stranded outside Ukraine.